Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Wasteland Remastered. I'm your host Lord Fett. In today's Wasteland Remastered video right here, we're going to do the ammo bunker followed by the police station, then the waste pit, and we're also going to hit the servant of the Mushroom Cloud Church. And finally, we're going to explore downtown east and downtown west. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Wasteland content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated my videos and more. Now, the last video right here, we're in Nito's learning about the library system. Also found a nice spot to level up, climb, and acrobat by three. And then finally, we did the mine shaft. So this is why I show everybody how to make money. Hopefully, when macros come out, you do that. And we uh, wreck high pull. Now, in between takes right here, I upgrade on medic to level five. And of course, uh, uh, doctor uh, level four on most of my characters. Now, here's the thing right here. I use Felicia as the CPR victim to do this. This took quite a few hours. All you have to do is look for a very hot spot and have fun with that. So after I am done showing off my characters, the first place we're going to hit is the ammo bunker. Oh yeah, we're going to get some explosives because we're going to attack the police station. Well, we're not going to go full on attack. We're just going to attack only certain sections. But first thing is the ammo bunker. Now here's the neat thing about the ammo bunker right here. You can rest here. That's very uh, good. Number one and number two. You're going to need to uh, bomb this uh, arm. Why is that? Well, there's some good loot here to get. I mean, there's some great loot. You're going to see in a few moments. So just keep on exploring here. Now, first of all, this ruby ring. This is a story item. Keep it with you. You're going to be using this quite a few times. One at the police station. One at the servant's uh, temple. Now these shells right here, you're going to save them for later. As for the blood stabs, the real ones and the Temple of the Blood, rest are uh, fake. Yeah, rest are uh, fake. So next up, what we're going to do right now is use our uh, bomb disposal guy right here. We're going to do that. Yeah, bomb this arm right here. And now we have him uh, loot it. We got TNT, a bunch of grenades, plastic explosives, all bunch of goodies right here. Now the bags are random. I might do for now on from this point on is just uh, save before actually looting up. So this is why I show everybody it's random. You get more uh, bang up for your uh, buck. I'm going to loot the rest of this up right here. Ooh, a power pack. Do hold on to those because I heard from uh, people all over the uh, internet that power packs are very important for energy weapons. Yeah, I'm going to be using those definitely towards the end of the game. Yeah, I'll be saving that for those. So we're officially... Uh, Done with uh, looting here once I am going to loot here. And next stop will be the uh, police station. Oh yeah, we're going to raid that. Also, uh, avoid the uh, TNT right there. And right here is nothing. So next stop is the uh, police station right here. We're going to do uh, just that. Yeah, you want to make a save before going in. So I'm going to make a save right about here and now. Now, while I was inside the bunker right here, pick up the blood staff, I got the uh, ruby ring right here. If you have that with you, well, the detective will actually uh, give you some vital information, which is very important. That's the real reason why you only go to police station. The other stuff is really uh, optional, so I'm going to go inside there uh, now. Now, fool the uh, robotic receptionist saying the second answer. You have the ruby ring, you'll get extra cutscenes. Otherwise, you get a warning, you have to go to the ammo bunker. So let's trigger these cutscenes now. This detective reminds you of Humphrey Bogart. As you approach, he snicks a match with his thumbnail and lights a cigarette. An overflowing ashtray sits on his desk beside an open bottle of scotch. His eyes are cold and hard as he watches you. You note the lump of a Roscoe in a shoulder holster under his gray suit coat. He introduces himself as Spam Shade and points out that he will not play the sap for you or anybody else. That's settled. He asks what you want. Where'd you get that ring? The detective demands. I think His Holiness is looking for that thing. Going back to his work, Spam says, I suppose you want to know about the blood staff. He wipes his hands on a greasy rag and sighs. Don't mind telling you the murders of lots of folks worried. People just up and vanish. Then, when we find them again, they've been drained of blood. Every drop. He squints at you, and his voice drops to a tense whisper. I seen one of the bodies, and it had a cut in the neck, just like a scar my grandmother had on her neck. She said once, when she was little, a priest used the blood staff on her after she got snake bit. I think the blood staff is involved, and that means trouble. 
Now we have the investigation update, which is uh, murder in needles right here, which is uh, really good. One thing I am not touching in the police station is the convict to recruit. I felt like he's another uh, Dan or Felicia. Yeah, kind of useless. We're going to bust open these doors right now and see what's inside. At this point of the police station, just nothing but uh, loot and murder. Yeah, seriously. We're going to be murdering some uh, police. And, of course, we're going to loot it up, of course, which is really uh, good. Yeah. This is a great place for uh, loot right here. Decent place for experience points. Still, they are tougher than what you faced so far. So you do need to be careful. And there's another uh, hint right here. And also, you could disable the alarm. I advise not to because the auto rifle we're about to face, if our characters get lucky, can uh, level up Brawl to a uh, 3, which is very uh, good. At this point, it's hard to get uh, most of the skills to a uh, 3 that are combat, so yeah. Take advantage of those until you least see. I think it's Vegas is the next stop right here. And this uh, game here will actually uh, get you uh, beyond 3, hopefully. So we're going to go in here right now. We're going to do some B&E on the door right here. And there's some loot right here we're going to do. So what we're going to do is face the uh, auto rifle robot, which is the uh, toughest in the police station. Yeah, yeah, it is so uh, tough. You're going to see it a few times when my character's getting owned. Still, I'm going to win the battle, win the day. So we're going to just go ahead and bust this open right here. I'll be back after the robot is uh, junked.
Okay, that was ugly, but that was worth it right here. John Danko and Fenton Murphy here got brawling to level three. That's totally worth it right there, I'll say, despite the fact that enemies were welling on me, which is like, okay, yeah, that info was welling on us all right. Still robots junk, so yeah, it looks like I cannot fit anything else on Ace, I hate to say. Yeah, it looks like I might have to, uh, after I revive uh, Dan here to unconscious, is uh, get out of here really uh, quick, looks like. And of course, uh, go uh, pawn some stuff off. Oh, wow, that's some uh, good uh, AR bullets right here. Yeah, this video, we're going to get some uh, AR weapons at least. Oh, yes, we are. So, I am back from uh, selling some stuff right here and healing up. Yeah, I'm going to be doing this one more time since the police station does have some uh, tough foes. At this point in the game, it starts to uh, ramp up the uh, difficulty. So you do need to be uh, absolutely uh, careful in this game. I mean, seriously uh, careful. Look like everybody's experience is good. So let's go ahead and loot this area up before I uh, cause trouble on the police. Now this ammunition right here is AR ammunition, 7.62 mm clips. And good thing about that ammunition is, let's be honest here, everybody, it's good for AR weapons. And that's one of my reasons I uh, put a point in that. So this way, it'll eventually level up one day. I might have to go off screen and figure out how to level that up to uh, at least level uh, two or three. Wait, level two is actually the uh, Rail Nomad Camp Bear. You go uh, shoot up some uh, nuke pooches with a single shot. Hopefully it lands. Yeah, you'll level that up to two, then you go to uh, another location. That's probably you're at that Temple of Blood or somewhere else. So let's go in here right now, take out the police. This at point in the video, we're slaughtering police for loot and experience points. Okay, it's time to go outside town and heal up off screen. Yeah, you want to do this. You want to take advantage of uh, outside being uh, very close by and it's really easy. I mean, this is like really simple. And now there's another tip from me. If you do the neighborhood uh, watch tip thing, that's the third option. It'll actually uh, give you hints about buying the uh, AK weapons, which is actually uh, pretty uh, good here. I mean, it's uh, really uh, good here. Yep. Yeah. And gives you some nice tips because it also gives you a hint that you need to start using those. So what we're going to do next is uh, open the doors right here. Bust it open. 
go ahead and kill some more uh, police. Well, that's it for the police right here. There's a certain rap song, I think it's from the 90s, that actually uh, sang about the police. Yeah, we'll just leave it at that because, yeah, if I decided to devolve further for that song here, yeah, it would be bad. Now, real quick, one that sells right here has a recruitable NPC. I'm not going to mess with that because of one reason, and that is that NPC is like a squishy. He's your uh, Dan and Felicia. 
Yeah, I don't want to do that at all. And hello, lost soul. Goodbye, lost soul. Nice seeing ya. Now, real test for uh, needles isn't here. So the next stop we're going to do right now is the uh, temple. Yeah, there's this one temple. I think the temple name is Servant of the Mushroom Cloud Church. Yeah, that is a weird name here. Yeah, we're going there next. That is about southeast of my position here. And we're going through the uh, climate acrobat part, leveling part. And there's another lost soul. Yeah, little guy, you're, you're going to die. Yeah, see, I told you. Yeah, still, if you do need to get your uh, acrobat or climb three, go ahead and do so. I mean, seriously. Now, when you get inside a temple right here, this is uh, very uh, simple here. Remember that ruby ring from the ammo uh, bunker? Use that right in front of the priest right here. Then will be extra cutscene and an update on the investigation. The Mushroom Bishop explains to you, I sent out my second-in-command to look into a series of murders. You notice the bishop nervously twisting a ruby ring around his finger. Where did you find that? Oh my god, he must be dead. The blood staff was stolen from here, and I'll generously reward you if you find it and bring it back. Last I knew, he was going back to downtown Needles. Now, next up is the waste pit right here. We do need to go there. Great news is we got ourselves an update on Needles Investigations, which is really good. So I'm going to go uh, this way, but before I do that, I do need to uh, exit the town here because I do need to trigger this from day to night. So this way I see the radiation marks. Why is that simply? Let me tell you all. When you have the Geiger counter and at night, yeah, you see the radiation marks right here. You will not see them during the day and you all might get radiation poison. So I'm going to shift it from day to night. There you go. I simply went out of town. Go ahead and rest on that. Which is very good. So our next part right here, we're going to go uh, down further. Now be careful walking because there's some radiation areas here. So we're going to be uh, careful here. Since we're underground, we cannot see any of those radiation marks. So you do need to be very uh, careful. We're again uh, trouble right about now. That was a trash worm from uh, Star Wars. Now, here's the thing. Bring TNT, please, because certain ways will be blocked off. So you have to use TNT in order to get through these uh, doors here. Yeah. Our next stop is the pit ghoul right here. Now, these pit ghouls are worth uh, 2,000 experience points. I think they only appear once. However, they are tough as nails. Unless you have an AR rifle, then you're fine. And this uh, fellow right here is guarding uh, about at least two AR rifles. So we're going to get down here and fight them.
that is the last of those uh, trash worms right here. Yeah. So use your explosive right here. At time recording, I should have made another save and just uh, randomly uh, went for loot until I got enough radiation suits. I'm kind of short. Uh, one more. You'll see later on where I get the third one. Still, I'm going to have to try to get at least one more radiation suit somehow. At least, hopefully, uh, at least four for my party members. And then, yeah, I'll have to deal with the fallout with the other ones without them. So for now, I'm just going to loot everything up here. Yeah, we got ourselves some uh, AR rifles right here. This is uh, really good. There's at least two radiation suits and a bulletproof shirt right here we don't need. Yeah, there are uh, plenty of bulletproof shirts at this point. Yeah, first time I thought they were unique, but nope. Next up is uh, we're exit out of here. We're going to go, I believe, into uh, downtown. Yeah, we're going to go uh, storm downtown and uh, do everything there. Yeah, once I'm done with downtown completely, I'll end the video uh, there. So right now, this is like really fun though. I mean, I admit it. Yeah, the foes are tougher, but it is like keeping me on my uh, toes at all times. So what I'm going to do right now is go ahead, uh, get out of town uh, really uh, quick, and then get ready for uh, needles downtown now first object up here i'm going to show everybody the uh blood stack uh, verification machine right here yeah there are uh, two uh, static foes guarding this house here so we're going to have to take care of them after we take care of this one Now, on the way here, there was a hobo dog southward. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, remedy that situation in another video because we do not now have enough uh, shells here, unfortunately. We got three shells from the uh, ammo bunker. Unfortunately, we have to get another one. Since we now cleared the house right here, I'm going to show everybody the blood staff uh, verification machine right here. This is kind of funny here. So you go over here, use one of the fake blood staffs. This way you can tell which one's fake and real. There's only one real one, a whole bunch of fake ones. See, it says, I think, verification fail. You're going to see that in a few moments. More humorous at this point. Now, next up, after I loot this uh, joint up, I'm going to go uh, show everybody an Easter egg here. Yeah, I already gained the trophy slash achievement while I was on a scouting run. Yeah, I decided to do some scouting runs so this way I could, uh, when I uh, do the actual uh, filming, this will be actually uh, quicker. In other words, I'm cutting out all the uh, exploring I didn't have to uh, do. And yeah, these uh, jerks right here try to kill us. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, the uh, west side jerks are much, much uh, easier than the east side ones because we're going to be facing a group of them that are very tough. However, good news is we got AR rifles. Now, real quick, use perception towards that glowing orb here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just use it. It says, what do you think this is? Bard's tail? Yeah, this is kind of funny here. I, I got a kick out of it. It does nothing but Easter egg. So now next up, we're going to visit an office here after clearing out these uh, jerks real quick, which is just only one. We're going to go inside because there's an investigation for it. Oh, yes, there is. It is uh, south of the uh, hobo dog uh, stand there. Yeah, and the hobo dog stand is a little bit buggy, unfortunately. So now what you just need to do is just keep on investigating. There's like uh, pamphlets everywhere. Look like it's pointing us to, I think, uh, another direction or something, I think. Just keep on searching around here. This uh, just tells you that uh, this place got hit very uh, hard. So we're uh, done with uh, this here. Once I get out, our next step is here. After I look at the uh, journal here, we're going to do is uh, get some uh, special booze. This is the same uh, booze from the uh, Stagecoach Inn we uh, got. Yeah, or actually did find. Well, this time you get to buy two of them. So good news is if you miss out on the secret way, well, you come here. To, uh, needles and you come down to this part of downtown make sure you pull your money together or at least uh, divide it up evenly and they cost a good amount of money here so what we're going to do right now is get the uh, password for the next area this is for a casino well not a casino just a gambling area so what you do right now is uh what you bought from the guy here you uh give the uh, item to uh the this hobo here 
Yep, you have to do it twice, though, and he's going to give you more, uh, he's going to actually give you the password by accident. And I will have that up there on the screen. Damn Acapulco Club. Acapulco is the uh, password there. So we're going to go there. But before we do that, you see this machine right here. Well, we got those shells. We're going to need exactly six of them. And we're going to blow a lot of things up. So what we're going to do here is get out here on the downtown part right here from uh, west to east now. Now that prostitute we just uh, quickly passed by. Yeah, don't sleep with her. You'll get wasteland herpes. Yeah, that's not cool. Now we're in the uh, thrift store. This is where you uh, buy and sell here. And they do have some uh, AR rifle clips, which is uh, very uh, good. Really uh, good if you uh, do need them. So this is a good place to offload your uh, stuff here, actually. Really a uh, good place to do so. As soon as I'm done offloading my inventory full of things, yeah, I have so many uh, things and stuff to uh, sell. I'm just checking everything over. Still, if you need the 7.62 millimeter uh, clips here for your AR rifles, this is the guy you go to. Now, I, when I test out the AR rifles, they are amazing against humanoid targets, which is very good. However, if you would do auto against a group of enemies, yeah, it empties the clip. However, they uh, do uh, die. I will have to uh, go off screen one day and level that up. So our next stop is the uh, poker table after I'm done with the thrift store. And here's the thing about the uh, poker table here. It's all right, but it levels up your uh, gambling skills by, I think, at least Lee, I think up to uh, 2 to uh, 25. However, you need tons of money for it, and it's not worth it. I mean, come on. It's not worth it, but still, this is just showing everybody for reference here in case their luck is super high. Yeah, you got to have uh, super high luck, too. And here's the uh, password, Acapulco. Yeah, A-C-A-P-U-L-C-O. Type that in, and you'll be able to go to gambling tables right here. You need to type this in like crazy. So we're out of here now. Now next up is we're going to blow up this uh, area here. And there's some enemies going on there instead of AR rifles. At least I think it's one of them. Yeah, this is an AR rifle run right here. Because the uh, Temple of Blood, we're going to need... Uh, as much AR rifles as we do need to get. So use your uh, plastic explosives or uh, TNT to uh, bust through the rubble here. Now, if I think if you have uh, 25 strength, you could actually smash that. At least that's the uh, rumor. So these are the jerks we have to uh, kill. There's a lot of them. So if any characters have the uh, AR rifles you found from the uh, ammo bunker, equip them now because this is going to be a tough battle if you uh, don't. Because they do hit very hard. Harder than your regular jerks here. So let's go ahead and do this.
now we're uh, done with these uh, jerks here. So we're going to loot everything up. Yeah, we're going to do that. After that, we're going to ditch Dan here. Why? Because the uh, NPC we're about to get, she has a uh, rad suit. Yeah. Which, by the way, is only uh, three or four for my party members. I will have to find four more, unfortunately. Or at least one more. Yeah. Uh, RNG was not friendly to me at all in this uh, video here. So what we're going to do is uh, loot everything up. Once I am done looting everything up here, we're going to recruit a new party member because that's how we are. Yeah, I'm just uh, looting everything up at this point. And there you uh, go. And I'm going to do here is just check everywhere before I actually leave here for uh, towards that NPC right here. Yeah, she's a very good one. She's a Uzi user and she has three in Brawl right here, which is uh, very uh, good. So we're going to go right here. What we're going to have to do is give Dan's items to Ace or somebody else at least. Yeah, we're going to do that. So first thing we're going to do is actually uh, drop off the canteen. Yeah, we're going to drop that off too. Drop that off and drop that off and there you go and now what we're going to do is uh yeah you're supposed to hire people if you have too many in your party what happens is that yeah oh i'll tell you actually which is a uh, pretty uh cool yeah you're going to get the uh message right here in a few moments right here yeah see it says uh party's full so what we're going to have to do is uh go ahead and ditch dan here see ya boy you're gone you're never coming back we just hire her and that's it for our party roster for now. I'm going to temporarily, I'm going to be honest here. I was just going to keep her for a bit until I see some better end game people. Ace, I'll probably uh, ditch uh, if I find someone better in Vegas. Well, I'll probably Felicia, I'll probably ditch her as soon as I uh, get somebody up to, I think, at least the uh, 9 to uh, 10 on Medic. Or I find someone better either way. So that's probably it for downtown. We're going to test our new uh, character here, how she is doing. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. Oh, wow, that is uh, pretty uh, decent right here for damage. I have to get her uh, more uh, ammunition with that uh, weapon here, which is actually uh, pretty uh, cool. And we're uh, being these uh, letter uh, jerks here. Yep, they're about to uh, die. They have a chain in their hands. Well, we have uh, axes and a Uzi. And that's really cool. So I'm going to just switch weapons really uh, quick after I get to needles here. So let me give everybody a review on what happened in uh, today's video here. We went inside the ammo bunker number one. Number two, we did the police station. And then we did uh, this uh, one church here. And then the, uh, what do you call this, uh, waste up pit here. Whatever it is, face of ghoul. Then we hit downtown in our next video here. We're going to visit the Temple of Blood and get the uh, Blood Staff. Well, this is it from my uh, Wasteland Remaster Part 6, Needles, Ammo, Bunker, Police Station, Downtown, and more. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day or night.